from JKP Toys and Collectibles. Today I want to show you how to take the blister pack off of your Hot Wheels or Matchbox or anything like that. Actually remove it from the card, take your car out, you can play with it, you can look at it, you can display it for a while, whatever you want to do, and then you actually can put it back in, reseal it, and you can't tell a difference from that in factory sealed. Now, there's a lot of people out there trying to scam people with that know how to do this. That's not what we're here to try and show you. So if you're planning on doing that, please, I mean, get a life, right? So um, anyways, so we do this a lot because we do a lot of customs um, and, and, and we can take them out of the card and put them back into the card after the custom is done. That way people can display them with the rest of their cards on their card. Uh, so it's really cool. So without further ado, let's get into this and we'll show you how to do that. All right, guys, so now we're going to show you how to open up, take the blister pack off of the card uh, without damaging the card, um, without that way you'll be able to come back in, put it back on. Things you're going to need for this, one, your card. Um, you're going to need a paintbrush. You're going to need some uh, nail polish remover. 100% uh, acetone is what I use. I don't know that anything less uh, would work that great. Uh, I'm sure it'd work a little, but... I, I know for a fact this will work. Uh, and you're going to need some clear tacky glue. Um, this is to put the uh, uh, blister pack back onto the card. Okay? So let's get started. So open up your acetone and wet your brush really well. Now what we're going to do is we are going to actually get around on the back side. Now this is not going to hurt your cardboard because it's alcohol, so it'll dissipate really fast. Uh, it's not going to... Uh, damage it like water wood or something like that so we're going to come around and right on the back right under the plastic and we're going to saturate that as well as we can until it starts to lift okay so let's get that wet i like to get it really super wet all the way around really let that glue and you can see where the glue starts to saturate in and that's what you want. That way you're not going to tear your cardboard up. Now I'm just opening up this little Civic. We do a lot of uh, Civic Customs. So I figure I might as well to get this one open. We need it open anyways. Uh, the next couple of videos you guys make sure you check out on uh, JKP TV. Um, or I'm sorry, JKP Toys and Collectibles. Uh, we're going to show you how to uh, take a car apart. We're going to show you how to put it back together, what to use to tap it, to put the screws in it. We're also going to show you how to get the finish off. We're going to show you how to paint them, the whole nine yards. So make sure you subscribe, uh, like this video. Uh, give us any ideas that you think that you'd like to see us do in the future also, okay? All right, so we're getting it all good and saturated. I like to go all the way up. Now, I don't want to take it all the way off of here. Um, because that's, that's really hard to get it all lined back up. If you take the whole blister pack off, I like to just take off the bottom half and just kind of peel that back. That should be good. You can see how everything's saturated all the way around and that should lift right off. Let's check it out. Oh yeah. Easy peasy. So we'll pull that card out. Okay. Nice. The card's still intact, so we'll be able to put some glue on that here in a little bit and uh, put that back together if we want to put that car back in. These are so cool. I love these Civics. Um, we'll also show you how to do some wheel swaps, different things like that, too. I mean, you can take the wheels off of one car, put them onto another. You don't even have to have real riders, although that is a plus, but that is cool. This is a really cool car. When we do our customs... Um, we make sure we put a really high gloss finish on it. Uh, this is such a this is a good model to start with because it's an easier model to do. Uh, I always hand paint all of this stuff here. Uh, I don't use any kind of uh, uh, watermark or anything like that on it. But uh, yeah, that's cool. You can change your interiors with some tester paint and stuff like that. Um, I always use an airbrush when I paint. Uh, I never use uh, you know a regular brush. Um, except for the interiors using the tester paint and stuff like that. Uh, you're not going to get a good finish if you try to brush on a finish, but that's cool. All right, so 
I'm just trying to give that a little bit of time to dry back up. We really got that saturated. Uh, you want it to dry just a little bit before you go and put that glue on there because, you know, the same, this stuff's taking glue off. So we really don't want to put it dry uh, or put it wet back on there. Okay. Uh, so let's give that just a second. And I think that'll be all right. Anyways. All right. So now for the next step, now that we've got our car out and we've done whatever it is we want to do with it, we want to put the car back in. You're going to need tacky glue. Okay. You're going to need your brush for this, but you're not going to brush it on. You're just going to use this to kind of press it out. So let's get our tacky glue ready here. Get our lid off. Looks like we're going to, this is a new one. So it looks like we're going to have to open that up. Let's see. Okay. All right, we just kind of put a little hole in there and open that up. All right, guys. So now we're going to put our car back in. Let's see if I can get this zoomed in for you to be able to see it a little better. And again, let me say this. We don't do this so that you can try and fool somebody and make yourself a, a STH or something like that. That is not the point. And uh, like I said in that, uh, you know, if that's what you're trying to do, I mean you know that sucks get a life don't try and do that to people this is so that you can make a custom put it back on a card this is so that you can take your car out and play with it uh leave it out for a while whatever you want to do this is just you have the ability to put it back in you know i had some cars that were uh, some older cars that actually had gotten some mold in behind here i'd bought a collection off of somebody and and i was able to take those cars apart and clean that off versus being able to destroy the whole thing because the cards were good it just had some little black spots and stuff so i kind of popped those off cleaned those up really well and that was nice you know um, so let's show you how to do this all right so we got our tacky glue get that in view for you you're going to go right around the edges with your tacky glue you don't need a whole lot just a small thin line all the way around just like that. Come over here and get this side, just like that. All right, all right. So I'll show you what how much I put on there. So it's just a really thin line. Then we're gonna press it back down, okay? And we're gonna take it with our fingers, move it around. That's where I was gonna say use the brush, all right? So now we're gonna use our brush and we're gonna kinda just spread that out just like that, okay? Spread that out, just like that. That way it's all the way around it. Uh, you're gonna need a uh, paper towel. Let's see. I don't think I have a paper towel laying around here, but I've got this rag. So now we're gonna, you know, there is a little excess that you've kind of got off there. You wanna make sure you get all of that off really good and clean, okay? So clean that off really well. Let me zoom back out so you can see what I'm doing here. So we had a little bit. So what, what I showed you I put on there, you could actually put less than that. Um, that's just the line that mine was popping out. Make sure you clean all that off. You don't want to leave any of that back on the sides of your card. Um, although Mattel does do that at times. But that's it, guys. That's 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 pretty much it. Um, it's got to have some time to dry, but it's still at the same time. That's sealed back up. Um, looks just like it did before we tried to open it. So that is how you remove your blister pack from your card. And that is how you put the blister pack back on. Remember, to, you know, don't go in here. Don't take the top off, okay? Take it all the way up to the edge. You know, remove it all around here. You're always putting your acetone on the back, okay? And look, it does not hurt this. This is still just a little bit damp, but it does not hurt it in any way, shape, or form. Again, don't do this to try to trick people. Don't try and rip people off. That's not cool. Uh, this is just for you. Um, if you're wanting to do customs or if you've got a TH or an SDH and you're wanting to really check it out and you want to take it out, you can do that and then put it back in the card. Uh, this glue dries, and, and it's just like the glue that Mattel uses. But there you are, guys. That's how we do it. 
Thanks for watching JKP Toys and Collectibles. Uh, we ask you guys to give us a like on this video. Uh, subscribe to our channel. Um, you know, hit that notification button so that you get the notifications. We got some really cool videos coming up. Like I said, we're going to have some videos of how to take your car apart. We're going to show you the tools that you need to remove the rivets. Um, we're going to show you the tools that you need to drill those out. We're going to show you the tools you need to tap those for screws. We're going to show you what size screws you need. We're going to show you the easiest and fastest way to remove the finish off of a car. How to get the body prep because I tell you what, uh, QC is not the greatest at Mattel, so there's a lot of imperfections on these bodies. So uh, we're going to show you how to actually clean them up better than factory before you spray them. We're going to show you how to spray them. Uh, you know, we're going to, you know, if you guys got any other ideas you want us to show you, we'll show you that too. Um, but we'll also uh, show you how to do some wheel swaps coming up in the future and all that stuff. So make sure you like and subscribe to JKP Toys and Collectibles. We thank you guys for coming out and watching. All right, peace out.